And then I also had the little Snogies out there with me. I made these last year. Um, it is such a beautiful day for trick-or-treating. I am so, so relieved. It's been rainy and miserable the past few days. Leaves are starting to turn and it's just perfect temperature, sunny. It's gonna be great tonight for the kids. So, every year, BB and I are Olaf and Elsa for Halloween. Um, I think this is our fourth or fifth year doing it. Um, so, the nice thing about that is I don't have to rebuy a costume every year. Um, usually his Olaf costume lasts at least two years, if not three. Um, and obviously the Elsa costume um, fits me for a while. <laughs> but amazingly, I somehow have three Elsa costumes. Um, I have the original dress um, from the first movie. I one year with leggings and a shirt made the Wreck-It Ralph Elsa version um, and then last year I bought the dress for um, from the Frozen 2 movie that she changes into and she realizes that she is the final element um, but anyway <laughs> so this year um, BB needed new shoes for his costume and I was on Amazon looking for white boots, sneakers, slippers, whatever. In the past, we've done slippers. Um, some years, some years we've done shoes and put like fuzzy stuff over them. Um, and this year, I was trying to look for something that was going to be easy that I wasn't going to have to do any work for, obviously, with this whole COVID situation. And so I was looking for light up shoes, and I found these that light up all through. Now, right now, they're glowing red because they're charging for tonight. Um, yes, shoes that charge. So that way, I guess, whenever you know, they'll continue to light up for longer. But I found them on Amazon. I can't remember the exact price, but it was less than $20. Um, and they're actually like a good sneaker. I mean, he tried them on and he really liked them. He said they were comfortable and he would wear them, you know, after this as is um, to school and things. So it, you know, it was a decent sneaker. I know kids with white sneakers, but hey, they only need to stay light for tonight, right? Um, but they glow, and when they glow, you have an option to put like a white or a blue light um, that'll glow through it. So it's gonna be really awesome tonight with his costume, and also, you know, trick or treating in the dark. It'll be easier for his dad to be able to see him. Um, you know, not that you don't see <laughs> the big white Olaf walking around. Um, but throughout today, I'll be documenting a little bit of um, our Halloween setup. Um, as far as the Olaf and Elsa perspective, um, the non-creepy side. Um, last year, um, you know, right in the heart of COVID, we did not walk. Uh, we decided to pass out and I had a big setup um, with plexiglass and lights and a chute um, to make it look like Elsa had put ice up as a barrier and we sent candy down the chute. So, uh, since I'm not well enough to walk around with BB and his dad today, um, I will be passing out candy again and be putting up a modified version of that display. Fortunately, since I did everything and made it all last year, it won't be quite as difficult to just um, have BB help me throw it up. Um, but I'll show you guys kind of what it was and maybe I have some pictures from last year, but it was dark and rainy, so the pictures didn't turn out great. Um, but today when we set it up, I will share with you guys. So part of our Olaf Elsa candy pass out setup that we did um, last year, I got this bowl at the dollar store. Um, that's clear. Um, I need to wash it out from last year. Um, but then I, um, last year, I passed out Hershey Kisses since we have a little silver I got them again this year. Um, with a little silver foil. Um, and then I have little glow, mini glow sticks. So we lit up the glow sticks in the bowl so the bowl would glow. And then I sent down a Hershey Kiss and a glow stick down the chute into each kid's um, basket. Okay. 
also the sheer fan of the cookies and cream one and I loved it because the foil wrapping on it is also this blue so we have a mix of the silver and the blue in the bowl. I'm trying to find um, the glow sticks from last year. I'm hoping they're with the rest of the um, Elsa decorations in the box. If not, there will be glow sticks this year but doing what I can with the COVID stuff. <laughs> also last year um, we stood at the top of the stairs and we had an umbrella and I covered it with a white tablecloth and had high school lights coming down from it because it was pouring down rain last year. Um, it was quite miserable, but we were kind of safe under there. But this year it's going to be nice, um, but I'm not going to be able to stand the whole time. So I'm going to bring um, one of my folding chairs that we use for BB soccer games and I got this iridescent tablecloth from Walmart today. So I decided to pick up so it's my life. Um, and that's really cool and I'm just going to cover the chair with it, just throw it on and sit on top of that so I my little icy throne to sit on. So <laughs> this year, um, Bibi's dad wants to, um, go as Sven, um, and I told him I would get him antlers and I found the ones I ordered from Amazon, now we're not gonna get here on time. Um, so I found these at the Walmart website, said that they had like three or four of them left. This is what it's supposed to look like. Um, the tag that's attached to it, and as you can see, there's no handlers. Um, there's the hole where the antlers are supposed to be. There's even an up there. Um, I'm not sure why. Sometimes that is the downside of the curbside pickup. They just grab whatever and they don't check to see if it is what you actually wanted, if it's damaged or not. Um, I do have some decorative antlers I might be able to stick on there, but that's going to be pain. I guess we'll have to see. Um, <laughs> curbside pickup win, curbside pickup fail. All right, so it looks like these shoes have finished charging. So put the button on here. Maybe. <laughs> All right, maybe it needs to be unplugged. Oh, these were so hard to like stick in. I don't know if they be hard to stick in. There we go. All right. Ooh. Oh my gosh, he's gonna lose his mind. That's perfect. Wow. They're so bright. Magical feet. That's amazing. That's that's pretty great. Alright. Perfect. Ooh, they flash. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> where it changes colors. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of options. And we're off. Alright. I'll be just gonna be really pumped when he sees these. So I wanted to show you here these are my ice panels. Um, they are a couple pieces of plexiglass I have put together with clear packaging tape. Um, I put up last year to block our stairs. Um, last year I tried to hot glue them and when I wasn't working I used the packaging tape and I was stressed because you know obviously it's not perfectly clear like the plexi is but um, I have blue lights that go along the bottom and actually the um, packaging tape created like fractures in the light on the plexi, which made it actually look more like ice than just being clear. So I ended up putting saran wrap on the rest of it to create that fracturing of the light across it. Um, so this year I didn't even bother with the hot glue. I'm just putting the packaging tape on. Um, I have the energy I'll wrap the saran wrap around it. <laughs> a lot just put it on this so I've got two 
panels there that I put on one step. And then I have a bigger panel with two panels like this on either side that I put on the step above it um, to create a barrier um, so people know not to come up the stairs and the candy's coming down the chute. Um, but this is the first panel. So I didn't really get a chance to videotape things that night. Um, there were some pictures, <laughs> but I pretty much passed out here on the porch um, immediately after passing out candy. But um, I ended up only using three panels, two on the bottom and then one a couple steps up rather than doing the big panel like I had last year because I just couldn't, um, I was at my limit. <laughs> Um, and then I had BB carry them down for me and set them up. And then I had some of this um, fake snow from Christmas past um, that I put on the stairs around it. And then I have these, oops, geez. I have these um, blue fairy lights. They were great. I found on Amazon last year. And they're just here. tiny little packs in there. And they're really bright. This is after a couple, you know, they're from last year. Um, but stuck them down into the snow. I have four strands of them and let them just glow up into the into the plexiglass. Um, I did use one of my, I have a couple black light spotlights that I used last year that I ended up just using one this year. What did I do? Oh, here it is. <laughs> here it is. Um, it's a spotlight. I have two of these um, that are black lights. Um, I got a whole bunch of like black light and Halloween stuff at a um, antique store slash consignment store a few years back. Um, really cheap stuff that would be pretty expensive otherwise. And I have two of these. Last year I used both of them. This year I just used the one and I set it up behind my chair. Um, so it kind of hit that iridescent um, tablecloth that was over the chair that I sat in and my white dress um, and kind of created pretty cool glow from behind me as well as in the blue lights in the snow and on the ice panels. Um, I also made this sign last year. Um, one bag here for a treat. I used hot glue to create the little like melting ice um, and my Cricut to um, cut out the letters in the frozen font. And I have, um, for other projects when I used to live in apartments, I had this wood um, vinyl. It's basically like drawer vinyl, um, but it has like the wood grain to it. And I stuck it on a piece of um, poster board and drew the line in it to make it look like the two boards together for uh, a sign. And I hang this down at the bottom of the railing um, at the bottom of the chute to tell people where to go. Seen a lot of a lot of wear for the last two years, especially last year. Um, it got stuck in the rain, so you can see where some of the glitter separated that I painted over the letters separated. Um, and then this year it got banged up a little bit, but it, I mean for two Halloween's it's held up pretty well for just a piece of poster board. Um, I do have some snowflakes and other lights I brought out because I used them last year and I just didn't have the energy to do the full thing or the ability to. I really just kind of stood at the top of the stairs um, down where we've got two sets of stairs here. So we set up there um, and just had them bring it down to me and then just put it in place. Um, we had the chute going down the other railing here. And I'll show you the chute in a minute. And I just had my chair sitting there at the top of it and passed out. So, and then this is the chute. Um, right now it's in two pieces and the cardboard that I keep in it to store it is sitting in it. Um, but I made this out of two cardboard tubes and hot glue and white paint and glitter paint last year. Um, and then I just attached them together. Last year they were hot glued together. This year I kind of just stuck them up next to each other, which caused a few snags um, in the delivery of the candy, but still worked out. Um, and then attached it to the railing down there. Um, they were a little warped this year because again, they were out in the rain all night last year. 
um, but considering they held up pretty well, um, so I've been able to use them to wear so well. Um, I thought about making the tube out of some plexi like this that I have that's that long and narrow, but again, I was not ready to reinvent the wheel this year with any of the projects. If I already had it built, that's what we were using this year. Um, because again, I just don't have the strength. Um, and I out after just doing this much. So, but this is what the shoot looked like. And I just used cardboard tube and hot glue um, to make it look kind of like a nice shoot. Uh, kids seem to love it. I even had a group of little girls that refused to leave the bottom of the stairs until I sang Let It Go. So somewhere out there on Facebook, there are videos of me singing. <laughs> but so that's that. I had the little snow geese out there with me. I made these last year. Um, just a little I fell off. But I just used a couple of foam balls, um, scratched out the shape of their mouths, and put used marker, um, cut out some the same poster board, glued them on his eyes. I just took little cubes of foam, cut them off, and stuck them together with toothpicks. So I've got a bunch of these um, in BB's room <laughs> all around on shelves. Um, other times of the year. I mean, the last couple of years they've come out. I, brought, I think we had three out tonight, but I think I have like six all together. Um, yeah, the little snooky dudes that hang out with us just kind of adds to it. Um, I also have little finger lights um, that I stick on my one hand, and when I would drop the candy down, I would light it up so it looked like I was making magic candy. <laughs> Just silly little things. Um, last year too in our street lamp I put in a black light bulb. I didn't do that again this year because I just couldn't get up there uh, myself. So this is kind of the stuff that I used um, to make it and I will attach pictures here at the end of the video of what it looked like um, trick or treating this year and a comparison to what I did last year with the full um, display. And everything again those pictures aren't fantastic because it's at night and blue and black lights don't look great on camera but it gives you kind of a gist of what it looked like um yeah so that's the plexis um that was my ice and everything and here are the pictures of what it looked like <laughs>